Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. A very warm and a good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you wherever you are in this part of this globe. And once again welcome to all my dear friends and students in this DADM 2 course which is Data Analysis and Decision Making 2 course under the NPTEL MOOC series. And as you know this course duration is for 12 weeks which is 30 hours of contact um, in the video mode. And this total number of lectures is 60 because each lecture is for half an hour and each week we have 5 classes of lectures each being for half an hour and after each 5 that means after the first week then second week so on and so forth we have assignments. So, if you can um, notice on the slide we are in the 11th week which is the and we are doing the 52 lecture and you have already completed um, this 10 weeks which is 50 lectures and you have solved 10 such assignments. So, if you remember in the 51st lecture which was the first lecture in the 11th week we are discussing with GERT and the launching of the spacecraft with considering the booster rockets and we are considering two different scenarios in one obviously in both the cases um, uh, booster rocket 1 and 2 can be success or unsuccessful that is 4 combinations. But in the first case we will consider the success success leads to the actual success of the project. And in the second case and obviously it will mean there are un three unsuccessful ones that means one success to failure and the third case being uh, first unsuccessful, second being a, a success and in the fourth case both being failures. In case two we will consider that any one of them being successful is a success for the whole project which means if one is successful, two is successful it is a success and in other case one success, two failure third case one failure two success and the last case both being failures would all lead all these three things would lead to the failure of the project. So, we are considering the, the concept of preparatory actions which are to be taken for the launch. So, they can be different type of preparatory actions some probabilistic some deterministic and based on that we, we return to the overall node where the return to the start of the test would be performed in such a way. So, that means, we if you if you remember uh, let me copy it again, again as I said it will be easier for us to consider, I will take it from Yes. So, if you consider this concept here, so this is an inclusive or or a deterministic one depending on how the nodes have been formed and uh, in this case also is inclusive or or return one. In this case it is an or one, it is it's a or is not there which means it will be uh, the first case would be in exclusive or and the second case would be inclusive or. So, it is exclusive or and this is an inclusive or based on that you proceed and finish the concept of how the diagram is made. Now, for this all the 6 nodes that means which have been drawn behave in the same manner if and only if the branch is received at the input side and one branch is emitted from the output side. So, 6 are coming based on the output there is 1. Thus, if 2 branches are in the series and they are being considered then the node type has no effect on the equivalent 1 branch in it because series means what any one of them working would lead to the output being positive. If it is parallel uh, in the series 1 sorry in the series 1 uh, my, my, my mistake in the series 1 if you have 2 consecutive concepts which are working and if any one of them fail. So, obviously, the concept uh, would uh, launching of that um, um, spacecraft is not possible 
in the parallel one if you consider in the simplistic sense any one of the in success would basically lead it lead us to the suspect success of the the project now we will basically have to convert them into the equivalent network so an equivalent network would be defined as a reduction of the multi branch network which we already have into the basic and or exclusive or inclusive or nodes and networks as that the complexity of the diagram is reduced yet it basically has the same logical sequence of the output and the input combined together in the same way as it was earlier earlier means before you deduced so let me continue reading it an equivalent network is defined as a reduction of a multi branch network into one branch network where the parameters of the one branch network are derived from the multiple network which you have so if you remember we consider the time which was deterministic or probabilistic and for trying trying to find out the time we consider the moment generating function and the for the probabilistic feedback the probability of the of that branch being taken was also considered so we'll combine both the um, moment generating function to find out the time as well as the probabilities to find out the probabilities of which path will be taken so we'll combine them from the overall complicated network into the equivalent simplest form of the network second case would be the concept of a feed is only appropriate for the exclusive or input output of the node so exclusive or if you remember so you have the exclusive or is these so it was basically let me if you are interested so this is the exclusive or so it means the realization of an any branch leading to the node causes the node to be realized that means yes activated however one and only one of the branch leading into this node can be realized at a given point of time so that means only one is being realized it will be realized but it only one would be realized so it means the concept of feedback is only appropriate for the exclusive or input type of node this results from the fact that the feedback requires that the node being returned to be realized prior to the feedback based on which we will proceed but the node cannot be realized if it is an and type node unless all inputs have been realized so the exclusive or any one would realize but in the and network all of them has to be realized in order that the output is true so if you consider the very simple concept of of series and parallel in this case when it is an and one all the series is all the elements which are there in the series they should be activated such that current will flow from the point a to point b and in the concept of the parallel one you will basically have that any one of them working would mean that current will flow from node a to node b so it need not be basically all of them have to work or at least more than one combination have to work so we will basically consider this in the very simplistic sense as i mentioned in the very simple way of a series and, and uh, parallel for the inclusive or input type only the branch representing the first activity completed is significant all other branches are ignored in computing the time the inclusive or is in the node is realized so in the exclusive inclusive or you will we'll consider the first branch being realized would give you all the results as it requires which is unlike the exclusive or now since a feedback branch will always be completed after a non feedback branch so consider of, of with a non feedback branch you will basically a feedback which will give you the output of of the second stage going as the as a feedback or an input at the first stage so they can be different type of loops as i have ex explained so hence as this is possible the exclusive or representation which exclusive or we have already considered is this one exclusive or which we have so the exclusive or representation can replace the inclusive or node if a feedback branch is incident to that node hence the overall logic circuit would be maintained third case if all the nodes have the exclusive or input characteristics then either all node outputs are of the probabilistic type so probability means probabilistic um, output being there or the paths that is the collection of the branches so there are different paths you can follow so it can be path i1 to i2 i2 to i3 i3 to j 
So, all the combinations can be there. So, or it can be I 1 to I 5, I 5 to I 3, I 3 to J. So, they can be different ways how you can do. So, if I draw the network, it can be this is one of the ways, this is one of the ways. So, you can have one path like this. This is the source and this is the sink. I am using the, in, the, the starting and the ending one. So, consider it is the starting S, ending E. So, there can be different ways how you realize that one. So, third if all the nodes have the exclusive or input characteristics then either all node outputs are of the probabilistic type. So, in this case the probabilistic concept would come or the paths that is the collection of the branches which you have any one of the, the paths you take the combine all the branches which are there in that path follow a deterministic output and they are independent with each other in the sense they are disjoint. So, the, the independent structure would not be there. If this was not the case, then at some input side of a node, there would be possibility of two branches being realized simultaneously. So, if they are not ex, uh, uh, mutually exclusive and exhaustive as we say in statistics. So, if that was the case, so it was, it was that case, then there would be a possibility of two branches being realized simultaneously, then hence how you basically take that path which will be taken up would basically be difficult to find until unless you have a probability of splittage. Splittage means the path 1 and path 2 being taken which are true. Fourth case can be for some network and an inclusive or input types can be converted into the exclusive or relationship. So, to illustrate this each of the relationship is discussed in a quantitative fashion for the exclusive or relationship we can basically have the following diagram. So, consider this. So, from, pa, from the realization which is probabilistic 1, we go to 3, from 2 to go to 3. So, let us again go back to the logic. So, I am going from the logical circuit to the diagrams. So, logical circuit to the diagrams are like this. So, this is the inclusive R. So, that would be on the right hand side. And uh, if I consider these are the probabilistic 1, the diamond shaped with the pointed on to the right the triangle one. So, these are the deterministic uh, probabilistic one. The probability is given P A and T A is the time similarly probability P B and T B is given and we basically realize with uh, the time T 3 bar mean the average time. So, in this case P 3 would basically be the corresponding probability P 1 into small P A which is the probability and this paths P 1 being taken p 2 into the probability p b and the average time would be calculated depending on the total average time which is taken in combined by the probabilities. So, it will be, so if there are 3 paths, so technically it would be p 3 would be p 1 into p a plus p 2 into p b plus p 3 into uh, uh, p 4 I consider. So, p 4 would basically be p 1 into p a plus p 2 into p b plus p 3 into p c considering there are 3 paths which are coming 1, 2, 3 and the corresponding time period average which is T 4 bar would be P 1 into P A. So, I am only repeating the first out terms which are outside the brackets in the numerator. So, it will be P 1 into P A, the second term outside the bracket will be P 2 into P B and the third term would basically be P 3 into P C, P C because there is a third path also I said. And the corresponding time period would be based on the fact that you I will try to find out the average T 1, T 2, T 3. So, T 1, T 2, 3, T would be coming from the previous stage. So, we will consider that. So, it will be T 1 bar, it will be calculated in the previous stage, T 2 bar would be calculated in the previous stage and the corresponding time and obviously, there would be T 3 bar also because you are trying to find out the T 4 bar. And the multiplicity factor inside the bracket in the numerator would be T 1 bar plus T A plus T 2 bar into T B plus T 3 bar into T C and in the denominator you basically have, have P 1 capital P 1 into P A plus capital P 2 into P B plus capital P 3 into P C. It can be extended depending on number of such um, uh, connections you have.
Now obviously what are capital P i's? So where capital P i is the probability that the node i has been realized beforehand. So if I consider as I said, so obviously 1, 2 and 3 I am considering. So in this case I consider 1, 2, 3. So obviously there would be much more, no, more nodes and more connection coming from the, from the left. So we will consider the corresponding probabilities P1, capital P1, capital P2, capital P3, so on and so forth for the corresponding probabilities and the average time would be corresponding to those probabilities that is T1 bar, T2 bar, T3 bar. So once we find out T4, it will be utilized in the next stage where in to, to calculate T5, we will utilize this concept of T4 bar and the corresponding of P4, capital P4 which is the probability. So let us let me continue where P i is the probability that node i is realized and T bar i is the expected time that node i is realized based on the probabilities and the times which are already given in the previous stage for and obviously they should be realized. For this introductory discussion only the expected time for a node to be realized given it is realized will be recalculated. So given it realized we will only find the average um, expected time and the average time. So no note that even though T A, T B may have cons may be constants depending on the time period, the time to realize note 3 in our case note 4 and corresponding time period T4 and T4 bar or T3, T3 bar depending on how many such nodes based on which you are proceeding. That would be through the utilization of and these, these T3, T4 uh, not the bar values are random variables. So derivations of P3 and T3 bar is, is an enumeration of the possible different type of events that result in the realization of node 3. So similarly once we want to realize node 4 you will basically find out the different combinations based on which we will proceed. So they can be realized if either branch A or branch B is realized. So if you have three parts either A or B or C is realized based on which we will proceed. The probability that branch A will be realized is the probability that the branch 1 is, re 1 is realized which is basically P1 times the probability that the branch A is realized given node is realized which is so you will basically have the branches on the nodes. The nodes realization is given by the small p's and the branch realization is given by the capital P. So, you will basically multiply them accordingly. A similar discussion holds for the branch B and the equivalent results which you have found out. So note by the definition of the exclusive or relationship branch A and B cannot occur both at the same time. So that means if you have three branches A, B, C they cannot occur at the same time. If this was a possibility then node 3 would have to be an inclusive or where we will consider that more than one branch occurring is possible. The expected time to realize node 3 given it is realized is the weighted sum of the possible times to realize the node 3. So node 4 would depend on 1, 2, 3. Similarly, node 3 would depend on for this diagram which you have would depend on 1 and 2. You will basically proceed iteratively, iteratively later on. So consider this if node 1 was were the same as node 2 that means P1 is equal to P2 and T1 bar is equal to T2 bar then the corresponding result equations would be P3 can be counted. So let me put this value so let me bring it here. So P3 is P1, PA, P2, PB, P3, P1, PA, P2, P and PB. So consider if they are equal, you take it outside, it is PA plus PB as already mentioned. Now coming to the time, so the time factors are given by this equation. So this is the time factor. So you consider that P1 capital P1 and P2 are equal based on that if you want to just recalculate and, and make that equation look nice without much complications. So you can find out T3 bar would be T1 plus a so called factors. So it will change and the network would be drawn as we are going from 1 to 3 corresponding the fact that 
um, node 1 and node 2 are the same. If node 2 and node, node, um, and node 1 are not the same, the calculation remains as it is before. So, you will basically have the equivalent probabilities as P A plus P B and the equivalent time would be given as already calculated out. We know that we have just given the formula. So, only remember the general concept of how you find out the capital P's depending on how many such nodes you have before and the time average time also depending on how many nodes you have before. So, now let us consider the, the AND logic relationship and, the, and it will be depicted as below. So, basically you would be take and these are the probabilities and the time. So, you can basically go from the, so, the source or the start to 1 and 2. So, the corresponding probabilities of paths being followed will be taken. Similarly, there are two outputs happening from 1 and 2 depending on the logic relationship. One would basically be the probability P A. So, the counterpart uh, path because there are two paths would be 1 minus P A and the time taken in these two paths would be different obviously. In the first case when probability is P A it will be we are considering as T A and in the second case when the probability 1 minus P A it is considered at small t c. Similarly, for node 2 you have the output given as P and the, the probability and the time given as P B and T B and uh, probabilities values given you can find out the corresponding probability and the time period for the subsequent parts later. So, node 3 will be will only be realized if both A and B are realized the probability that, that A is realized is capital as I already said. So, P, considering the simplest case of P 1 and P 2 being equal we are we that is the simple one. So, the probability that A is realized it is given by P 1 into P A and the probability that B is realized is given by P 2 into P B which we have already seen. The probability is thus that both the both of them are realized is basically the intersection set or the intersection numbers. In this case the intersection of the events associated with node 1 and 2 would be de de depicted by probability 1 intersection B which is common and that should be equal to P 1 and assuming P A B is P A into B B which is means you are trying to basically multiply the probabilities. So, we can find out that the branches must be realized if we have the corresponding time period being, being the maximum which is being realized at two different points accordingly. So, k at n must be taken here in the competition of the expected value since the expected value of a maximum is not usually in the maximum of the expected value that should be remembered. So, this will be discussed in the later parts for this course not we will but we will just mentioning that. For this case obviously, the time period t 1 and t 2 and the time period from the source from where we start is given and we will consider t 3 is basically the t s plus the max values and we will proceed accordingly and equivalent probability and the equivalent time would be equivalent would be found out and, and utilize that for that network. So, if we have from the source 1, 2, 3 outputs the probabilities are 1 for the second one the cumulative prob uh, the equivalent probability is P e equivalent time is T e and the corresponding probabilities and time periods for the so called paths emanating from 1 and 3 are corresponding to 1 minus P A and 1 minus P B because you have that one part is realized another part is not realized would be given by 1 minus P A and similarly for the third part it would, it would be 1 minus P B. So, once this is logical structure is done. So, the exclusive OR relationship can re replace the AND relationship at node 3 since only one branch is received uh, is received at node 3. So, if there are more than two branches obviously, caution has to be taken into consideration where you can basically replace any one of the exclusive network concept in the other one. So, depending on the node structure which is there for the inclusive OR relationship the analysis procedure as uh, proceeds as in this case the branches of the network given below would basically give you the idea. So, the left part of the concept is basically equal to the right part 
and uh, we will basically have the, the equivalent part being considered in such a way, we will consider the probabilities and the equivalent probabilities of P A, P B and P E and the time periods as given. So, thus the deduction process would now involve the enumeration of all the mutually exclusive and alternative nodes in and we will basically come my, clearly show them each step such that we can find out what is the equivalent network. So, description being branch A, but not branch B is being is is being realized. So, it will be probability of P A minus intersection of the probabilities in A B and the equivalent time is given by T A. Similarly, B is the branch and not A is the branch. In that case, you just swap the numbers. It will be P B minus P uh, suffix A intersection B and the equivalent time is P B. And in case branch A and branch B both are realized, it will take the, the probability of A intersection B, which is the uh, overall um, common so called area if you consider the concept of Venn diagram. And the equivalent time would basically be the minimum time based on which you will proceed. So, in this section, the, the equivalent network will be derived from the following three basic networks, which is the series one, parallel one and the self loop one depending on, on whether the loops are allowed for the parallel and the, and the series concept. The derivation will be accomplished by enumerating all the possible outcomes in order to show which is the, which are the equivalent network possibility. The, the, um, of the ne network to the terminal node. So, it means the derivation will be accomplished by enumerating all the possible paths from the starting node of the network to the terminal node um, uh, of the network. So, it will basically start till the end. A generalization of the derivation procedure based on the flow graph diagram will then be utilized in order to reduce it to the maximum possible extent. To simplify the terminology, a node will be described by its input or output relationship where no ambiguity would be there for this diagram. So, in this figure, it will illustrate the equivalent one branch network for a series, a parallel, a self loop and a uh, some, uh, this uh, series concept. So, there are three series, parallel and self loop depending on the loops you have, all of whose branches must have constant time parameters, but whose nodes are of the exclusive odd type. So, with this I will end the, the 52nd lecture and continue more discussion about the uh, GERT in a very simplistic sense and then start off a new topic as required. Have a nice day and thank you very much.